What's up guys, welcome back to another GGF video. Today I'll be going through my ultimate gaming workstation setup with you. I've had quite a few requests in the past, so here it is. This is my main system which I use on a daily basis. My man cave is rather large and I do have other dedicated areas around the room, such as my benching station where I test any new hardware, as well as a secondary gaming station where I've gone with the complete white theme. I'll probably go over these more in future videos. There's quite a bit to cover in this video, so first I'll jump in taking a look at my monster system and then the hardware powering it all. Then I'll go over the peripherals and other items on the desk. The moment you set foot in the room, the Elite chassis by Fantex is by far the first item that catches your eye. This behemoth of a case is just stunning with elegant lines. Its built-in RGB case lighting means it can be fitted into just about any room environment. An ultimate setup needs an ultimate case and Fantex has nailed it on the head. Taking a look inside the Elite at some of the hardware, first you'll notice all the hard drives. Yes, there are a few, 15 in fact, 4 SSDs and one M.2 NVMe drive. I've always been into storage and working with 4K video certainly takes a hefty bite into this. Total storage in this system rounds off to about 60 terabytes once formatted. Two Zotac Arctic Storm GTX 1080s are the main graphics horsepower in this system. My primary screen is a 4K screen and these GPUs power it nicely. If you're not familiar with the Arctic Storm series from Zotac, they come with a stock GPU block instead of an air cooler. They also have built-in RGB lighting which complements the Fantex Elite chassis nicely. A 5960X 8-core CPU at 4GHz is a grunt power in the system, which is slotted in a Gigabyte X99 Designer EX motherboard. I specifically went with this motherboard for its built-in PLX chip for the extra PCIe bandwidth. Other components include two LSI 9260 8i RAID cards, to help connect all the hard drives to the system. You'll also see 64 gigabytes of Crucial Sport wide edition memory installed in the system. Powering the whole system is a Seasonic Prime 1000 watt titanium power supply. Water cooling components are bits power all round with an Alpha Cool Monster 80 millimeter thick 480 radiator up the top. Now that's the PC covered, let's look at some of the peripherals I use. I guess the most striking item peripheral wise would have to be the gorgeous AOC 40 inch curved 4K screen. For those interested, the model of this screen is the C4008VU8. The screen uses a 10-bit VA panel with a response time of around 5 milliseconds. My primary use for this screen is editing work and my god does it do the job. Gaming on this screen isn't too bad, but if I'm playing a fast-paced game, I do have a ROG Swift 144Hz screen to the side which I swing over if needed. But sometimes it's good to just sit back and game on a 40-inch 4K curved screen and get captured in that immersive gameplay. The keyboard I use is the Topra Real Force RGB mechanical keyboard, which I absolutely love. So far, I believe this is the only mechanical keyboard out there that allows you to change the actuation points on the fly from 1.5 millimeter to 2.2 millimeters to three millimeters. I just love this feature as you're really getting three keyboards in one. Also, the RGB backlighting on this keyboard is top notch as well. The mouse I use is a Rocket Leader, which I've been recently sent for review. I've been using Rocket for many years now and have been really drawn to their Tyon mouse. Currently the Tyon was the mouse I was using before the Leader. No real difference to the shape, just that the Leader is wireless and has an improved sensor. Gaming on this mouse is just beautiful and really doesn't feel like it's a wireless mouse at all. And when you're done with your gaming session, just hang it up on the charging dock. Brilliant. The all-white mousepad I just picked up from PLE is the glorious PC Gaming White Extended Mouse Mat. I just love white and when I saw this on sale I just had to get it. The dimensions are 28cm deep by 91cm long. I often get asked quite a bit what speakers I use and these are the Mackie CR4 4-inch powered studio monitors. These speakers are great for the price with decent sound, but I'm thinking of upgrading to the Audio Engine 5 Plus white speakers. These will work in better with my setup and also have better audio quality. Driving my speakers is the Creative Soundblaster X7 USB DAC sound card. As I have no physical space left for an internal sound card, I had to go external. So the X7 was really the only option. This unit is very powerful, but you really need the gear to match it, which leads me to my headphones. When I picked up the X7, I also grabbed a pair of Audio-Technica M50Xs in white. These are about the minimum you'd want to go with a sound card like the X7. I didn't really need to go any higher in the headphone department as I just don't use headphones enough, but man, these M50Xs are crystal clear. In PUBG, I can just about hear enemies on the other side of the map. Some final items that wrap up my desk setup include a Thermaltake Luxa 2 E1 headphone stand. Its simplistic design goes nicely with the silver AOC monitor, and it isn't bulky like other headphone stands around. 
Gaming chair wise, I use the DX Racer Classic Series. This is advertised as a gaming slash office chair and I can see why it doesn't have that bucket seat style most gaming chairs have. I feel this chair is comfier than others due to its more traditional shape and extra padding. Then lastly, I have a 48 inch 1080p TV mounted up on the wall to the right. I have the screen here for general use or for watching movies. It also comes in handy for running a central screen when mates are over for gaming sessions. Then I've grabbed a basic 5 meter RGB strip off eBay and stuck it to the edge of the desk and ran it around. It really gives the setup that extra little touch. Anyway guys, that's it for my main setup tour. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.